The project that we're on is the A417 Missing Link. It is a Keir and National Highways project and we are subcontracted to them for the earthworks package of it. The road itself is an upgrade to a five and a half kilometer stretch to a dual carriageway to try circumvent all of the traffic that's being caused here at the moment from the junction at Lackhampton. At its peak during uh, you know, the summer earthwork seasons, we were employing well over 100 people on the site. We're probably at about 70, 80, if not more bits of kit. In total, I think we're moving about 2 million cube of material, whether it's cutting or filling. At the end of last year, so the close of play of 2024, going into 2025, we'd managed to move a million cube altogether. So we're making really good progress. I think Walters have demonstrated on a number of occasions that they're pushing the technology within the construction industry at the, in, at the forefront in a number of areas, and that's really pleasing. We want to we want to show that this project is exemplar across the board, and I think innovation is one of those aspects. With Machine Max, when we go onto their website and onto their platform, this is what the user interface looks like. So we've got an excavator, a dozer, and two dumpers that we've been running this trial on. In terms of the data that it gives, um, we can look at its locations. It gives us a live location of where they are at all times, um, you know, updated on a half hourly basis. It means that we, we can see on a site this big exactly where our plant is working throughout the site. You've got sensors such as this one that you see. Um, this one is for the tippers. They go onto the back of the ADT skips um, and essentially they will track the amount of times that the skip, that, that sensor goes past a certain angle to counter tip and that just means that we can keep a record of it without it needing to be uh, recorded by whoever's driving the plant and it keeps track of where the machine is at all times um, lets us track their speeds the routes that have been running and when they've been on when they've been off when they've been working etc etc machine max has performed really really well throughout all of our trials and we're hoping to roll it out not just across this job but across the business lss is a survey processing software excellent local company. Basically allows us to process any information that we record in various formats, survey, we then process it into a digital survey, which we can then use for modeling, for presentation, for various deliverables, whether it be volumes, which is what we mainly use it for because we're moving up, we're doing earthworks. Um, it's extremely useful, extremely powerful, but also quite easy to use. It's used for all kinds of different parts areas in the industry from a one-man band land surveyor through to the likes of Walters and Kia doing these sorts of big projects you know you are pretty much our main you know licensee you've got the biggest number of copies of the software for definite. Propeller is another survey package basically it's a photogrammetry or lidar uh, processing software. You can also add in designs, so in other words, the designs of the road itself, the, the, you know, the job, the structures, whichever, and it processes the photogrammetry into a digital terrain model, which we can then use within Propeller itself or take out and use an LSS to further process the information that we've got from the drones. Although it looks like a photograph, it is a, a digital terrain model, so every one of those pixels is coordinated a very much more detailed survey than you could ever produce on foot by physically measuring. Because this is this is literally taking a point sort of every two or three inches, depending on the altitude of the drone when it's, when it's flying and the resolution that you put into the survey. There's various things you can do with it. You can pull cross sections through, you can do surface comparisons with designs or other surveys. So one of the ways of using it would be to say, we'll have a survey from a composite survey which is what this is so this is the composite survey from the first of august this is the entire earthworks um, footprint or near as near as possible um, and then you could compare that directly with exactly the same area a week before or a month before or six months ago so that way you can you can see what progress has been made, you can measure the volumes. It's also useful as a management tool because you can discuss things with other members of the operations team and just go straight into virtually the same detail as if you were out there standing on the, on the ground. We need to use the technology that's available to us and I know on, on this project uh, we've relied heavily on, on some of the engineering tools, particularly propeller. 
uh, which I think uh, is now used by every single person uh, on the scheme, uh, including the commercial team, and, um, and, and, and being able to use that visual aid uh, while we're doing collaborative planning sessions and we're able to sort of hone in on specific areas and, and see it visually has been, been critical.